This week we move into time series analysis and forecasting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the stuff we learned in regression and apply mostly regression models to time series data. Uh, recall time series means that we have, in our case, evenly spaced data points in time. So every day, for example, or every hour, something like that. So let's look at the first web session of the week. So we go in here pre-September 11th air travel exercise and then here's the data file down below so if we open this up I've broken it up into three broad parts um, so it's the monthly passenger movement from January 1990 until August 2001 so we're restricting ourselves to this period because of um, the horrific events of September 11th 2001 uh, so there's only one time series in the spreadsheet, AIR. It's the actual airline revenue passenger miles, which is how the airline industry tracks stuff. So part one is stuff that we've done in the past before, so it should be rather totally straightforward. It's exploration. So first create the appropriate, distinct, well-formatted graph or chart for this data. And then for the plot that you created, describe any patterns that you can discern within the data. We first plot the data because we want to see if we can find patterns, and then the patterns tell us what types of modeling we should do. So then part two is, what is the model you think this is appropriate that you should use based on what your data exploration did, and why? Uh, and then fit your proposed model to the entire data set. Explicitly write out the mathematical equation for the estimated model. Explain each component. And then number three, use the fully fitted model to forecast all of the historical data points that you can with your model. Compute the MAD, MAPE, and RMSE for this set of forecasts. Carefully explain what the value of the MAPE means in this context. Then part three, we start to do holdout forecasting, which is we break it into a training set and a test set. So the training set should contain data from January 1990 through December 1999. The test set, or the holdout portion, should only contain data from January 2000 through August 2001. Then fit the model to only the training set. Use the estimated model from the training set to forecast only the test set, and then compute the, the metrics for only the test set. And then describe and talk about why these metrics might be different than what we did for the fully fitted model. So a very involved step-by-step -step case uh, that you should be able to do after reviewing all the material.